Hello everyone, I'm Jayshree. Welcome to my channel and to this tutorial for the crochet pattern sweater top. This pattern is worked in a top down in the round manner. We begin at the neckline, working our way down the yoke, moving towards the body of the top. We then work the sleeves of the top. Please don't forget to subscribe for more crochet tutorials and patterns from this channel. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Begin with a slip knot. Chain ninety six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Continue to ninety six chains. I now have 96 chains. Form a ring by joining the first and last chain together. To do this, make sure that the chain is not twisted. Insert the hook into the first chain and join with a slip stitch. Round one, chain three, one, two, three. Chain three counts as a stitch, in this case, a double crochet. We'll now double crochet into all the chains. To double crochet, it's yarn over. Insert the hook into the chain, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, go through two loops on the hook. Continue with double crochets into all the chains for round one. I'm at the end of round one and I've worked double crochets all through the round. So to join, it's slip stitch into the third chain from chain three. Round two, chain three. Again, chain three counts as a stitch and always does throughout the pattern. In this case, a double crochet. We'll work four double crochets into the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, four. Including the chain three, it's five double crochets. Then skip three stitches, one, two, three, and into that next stitch, we'll work a puff stitch together with chain three and a puff stitch all into the one stitch. To work a puff stitch, it's yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, elongate the loop to about a centimeter. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, elongate the loop to the same length as the first loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, elongate the loop to the length of the other loops, yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, elongate the loop, yarn over, go through all the loops on the hook, then it's chain one to secure. 
then it's chain three, one, two, three, followed by another puff stitch into that same stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, elongate the loop to about a centimeter. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. And I've done that four times. Yarn over, go through all the loops on the hook. Chain one to secure. So it's a puff stitch, chain three, puff stitch, all into one stitch. The pattern sequence for round two is skip three, one, two, three. Into the next five stitches, we'll work five double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four and five skip three one two three into the next stitch we'll work a puff stitch chain three puff stitch all into the one stitch Always chain one to secure above the puff stitch. Then it's chain three and another puff stitch into that same stitch. Chain, yeah, chain one to secure. Continue with the pattern to the end of the round. That skip three five double crochets into the next five stitches, skip three, a puff stitch, chain three, puff stitch into the one stitch. Continue to the end of the round. I'm at the end of round two and I've worked the last puff stitch, chain three, puff stitch. I have three stitches remaining. To end the round, it's slip stitch into the third chain from chain three. Round three. Round three is an increase round and you'll see as we move on every second round from now for the yoke will be an increase round. So an increase is working two double crochets into one stitch. In this case, it's a double crochet because we are using double crochets. So it will begin with the chain three. Chain three counts as a stitch, a double crochet. And our first increase will be in this first stitch, which means we'll work a double crochet into that same stitch from where the chain three comes out of. Then we'll work one, two, three double crochets into the next three stitches. Into the last double crochet, we'll work an increase, which is two double crochets into one stitch. So that's one, two, Then it's chain four, one, two, three, four. And single crochet into that chain three loop. So to single crochet, it's go into the loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops on the hook. Chain four, one, two, three, four. And here we'll double crochet into that next double crochet from the round before. We'll also work an increase into that same stitch. So to work an increase, it's two double crochets into one stitch. I've already worked the first double crochet 
and here's the second. Then it's one, two, three double crochets into the next three stitches. Two, three, and again an increase into the last stitch. So that's two double crochets into one stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet into that chain three loop, chain four, it's two double crochets into this first stitch, it's one, and two. Then it's three double crochets into the next three stitches. One, two, three, and an increase into this double crochet before our puff stitch pattern. So that's two double crochets into one stitch. You'll notice for the for the yoke here on after the increase rounds, it's always an increase into the first double crochet and an increase into the last double crochet. Increase into the first double crochet and an increase into the last double crochet. So we'll continue with the pattern, which is chain four single crochet into that chain three loop chain four because it's an increase round it's two double crochets into that first double crochet one two double crochet into the next lot of double crochets and increase into the last double crochet. Continue with the stitch pattern to the end of the round, working the chain four, single crochet chain four at the a puff stitch pattern. And then it's an increase into the first double crochet double crochet into the next three double crochets and an increase into the last double crochet from the set of double crochets. So we'll do that the remaining sets. I'm at the end of round three and I've chained four and single crocheted into that chain three loop. Then it's chain four, one, two, three, Four, and slip stitch into the chain three from the start of the round. So again, remember that for an increase round, it's always an increase into the first stitch and an increase into the last stitch from each of these sets of double crochets. So you see, I've worked an increase into that first stitch, an increase into the last, an increase into the first and the last, an increase into the first and the last. Every increase round will be the same. Round four, chain three, one, two, three. Round four is a repeat of round two. Here we'll work double crochets into every double crochet and we'll continue with the puff stitch pattern as we did for round two. So it's one double crochet into every double crochet from the round before. Now 
we will work a puff stitch chain three puff stitch all into that single crochet from the round before chain one to secure chain three and another puff stitch into that same stitch then it's chain one to secure continue with double crochets into all the double crochets from the round before followed by a puff stitch chain three puff stitch into the single crochet from the round before Continue with the pattern to the end of the round. I'm at the end of round four and I've worked that puff stitch, chain three puff stitch into the single crochet from the round before. So to end the round, it's slip stitch into the chain three from the start of the round. I've completed the yoke for a size medium stopping at round 17. I've continued to repeat round 2 and round 3, the only difference being with an increase in the number of stitches as I progressed through to the end of the yoke. Round 5 was a repeat of round 3 where I chain 3 worked an increase into that same stitches chain three by working a double crochet into that same stitch i double crocheted and into the last double crochet from that set of double crochet crochets i worked an increase thereafter i chained four single crocheted into the chain three space chained four again worked an increase double crocheted and worked an increase into the last stitch from that set of double crochets so it's an increase into the first and an increase into the last and i've done that at all these sets of double crochets continuing with the chain four single crochet into the chain three space and chain four Round six was a repeat of round four, where I chain three, double crocheted into each of those double crochets from the round before. Then it was a puff stitch, chain three, puff stitch into that single crochet from the round before and continued with the pattern sequence to the end of the round. I've continued with the yoke to round 17 and my increase rounds were round seven round nine round 11 round 13 round 15 and round 17 together with round three and round five which i've already explained so in all those increase rounds it's just an increase into the first double crochet and into the last double crochet from the set of double crochets so into each of these sets, I've worked an increase into the first and the last 
an increase into the first and the last and I continued with the puff stitch pattern. For the increase rounds, the puff stitch pattern is chain four, single crochet into the chain three loop from the previous round and chain four. And then it was the rounds that the in-between rounds that would be round six, round eight, round 10, round 12, round 14, round 16. I double crocheted into each double crochet from the round before and I worked the puff stitch pattern, which was a puff stitch, chain three, puff stitch and continue to work double crochets into each of the double crochets from the round before. In every, at the end of every round, I slip stitched to join. Now that the yoke is complete, we'll move on to the body. But before doing so, we need to separate the front body, the back body and the armhole spaces. I've placed stitch markers along the yoke the first stitch marker and I've worked from the starting point so the first stitch marker I placed directly after the first puff stitch pattern and into that double crochet that's my first stitch marker and that marks off half the back body so for the second stitch marker, I've moved along, skipping the puff stitch pattern in between. So that's the first stitch marker. I skip this puff stitch pattern and into the double crochet just before the next puff stitch pattern, I've placed my second stitch marker. From the first to the second stitch marker marks off the armhole space. Moving along, I've skipped this next puff stitch pattern right next to our second stitch marker. I've skipped the next puff stitch pattern and the third puff stitch pattern and the double crochet directly next to that puff stitch pattern. I've placed my third stitch marker. Notice that there's three sets of puff stitch pattern. One, two, three in between stitch marker two and stitch marker three. From stitch marker two to stitch marker three marks off the front body. Moving on to stitch marker four. I've skipped a puff stitch pattern. Here's my stitch marker three and I've skipped the next puff stitch pattern. So the double crochet just before the next stitch pattern, puff stitch pattern, I've placed my fourth stitch marker. In between stitch marker three and stitch marker four marks off the second armhole space. From stitch marker four, we have a puff stitch pattern along and we have another puff stitch pattern just right at the end. And from stitch marker four to the start again marks off half the back. With the yoke folded in half, I have a puff stitch pattern along the side of the yoke and a puff stitch pattern along the other side of the yoke. This will run along the sleeve. In between the stitch markers, the front body and the back body, I have three puff stitch patterns. Round one of the body, chain three and double crochet to the last double crochet just before the puff stitch pattern, which is before that first stitch marker. Work four double crochets into the first loop. 
So that's one, two, three, four, it's a double crochet into that single crochet from the round before. Four double crochets into the next loop. One, two, three, four, and a double crochet into the stitch marked by the stitch marker. Then it's chain three, one, two, three, and we'll join to stitch marker two. When joining, make sure that this armhole space, it faces towards you. So to join, it's a double crochet into that stitch marked by stitch marker two. four double crochets into that chain four loop so that's one two three four one double crochet into that single crochet from the round before four double crochets into the next chain four loop one two three four continue with double crochets to the next puff stitch pattern work double crochets to the next puff stitch pattern and as you see I've chained under the armhole space so we've already separated our armhole from part of the body this puff stitch pattern runs down the center of the yoke so I'll continue with the puff stitch pattern so it's a puff stitch Chain three, puff stitch. Into that single crochet from the round before. Continue with double crochets to the next puff stitch pattern. double crochets to the next puff stitch pattern just before the third stitch marker into that chain four space work four double crochets one two three four a double crochet into that single crochet from the previous round Four double crochets into this chain four space the next chain four space one two three four a double crochet into the stitch marked by the stitch marker chain three one two three and we'll join stitch marker three to stitch marker four by working a double crochet 
into that stitch marked by stitch marker 4. So we form the next armhole space. Again, make sure that this armhole faces in your direction. Then it's four double crochets into that chain four loop. One, two, three, four. A double crochet into that single crochet from the round before. Four double crochets into the chain four loop. One, two, three, four. Continue with double crochets to the next puff stitch pattern. I've double crocheted to the next puff stitch pattern, or rather the last puff stitch pattern before the end of the round. This puff stitch pattern runs down the center back of the yoke. We'll continue with the puff stitch pattern. So it's a puff stitch. Chain three. And a puff stitch all into that single crochet from the round before chain one to secure and then it's slip stitch into that chain three from the start to join round two of the body i've chained three and i've double crocheted i've continued to work double crochets into that chain three from under the arm working double crochets to the front and I'm here at the puff stitch pattern that runs down the front of the yoke. We'll continue with the puff stitch pattern that runs down the center front and center back of the yoke for part of the body. So in this round it's chain four, single crochet into that chain three space, chain four, Continue with double crochets. I've continued with double crochets, working the double crochets into the chain three under the second armhole. Continuing with double crochets to the puff stitch pattern that runs down the center back of the yoke and now of part of the body then it's chain four single crochet into the chain three space from the round before chain four and slip stitch into the chain three from the start of the round I've completed round three to round six of the body. For round three, I double crocheted all stitches and continued to work the puff stitch pattern that runs down the center back and center front of the body. So for the puff stitch pattern, I work the puff stitch, chain three, puff stitch. Round four, I chain three and double crochet into all stitches. I continue to work the puff stitch pattern that runs down the center front and center back. For the puff stitch pattern, I chain four, single crochet into the chain three space from the round before, chain four again. Round five, I chain three and work double crochets into all the stitches. I continue to work the puff stitch pattern that runs down the center front and center back. For the puff stitch pattern, I work the puff stitch, chain three, puff stitch. Round six, I chain three and work double crochets into all stitches. I continue to work the puff stitch pattern that runs down the center front and center back. Here I worked a chain four, single crochet into the chain three space from the 
previous round and chain four again. Round seven, I chain three and double crochet into all stitches. I'm now at the puff stitch pattern that runs down the center front. Here I'll work four double crochets into the chain four loop. That's one, two, three, and four. And then it's a double crochet into that single crochet from the round before. Again, four double crochets into that chain four space. It's one, two, three, and four. Continue with double crochets into all the stitches to the puff stitch pattern that runs down the center back. I'm at the puff stitch pattern that runs down the center back. Here again, I'll work four double crochets into that chain four loop. A double crochet into the single crochet. Four double crochets into the next chain four loop. slip stitch into the chain three from the start of the round to join. Round eight, chain three. Here we'll work back post double crochets into all stitches. To work a back post double crochet, it's yarn over. Insert the hook into the stitch the post of the stitch going from behind pull up a loop yarn over go through two loops on the hook yarn over go through two loops on the hook so again for a back post it's yarn over insert the hook into the post of the stitch going from behind yarn over go through two loops on the hook yarn over go through two loops on the hook Continue with back post double crochets to the end of the round. I've completed round eight, working those back post double crochets into all stitches. I've slip stitched to join. Round nine, chain one. Into the same stitch as chain one, work a single crochet. Let's insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, then yarn over and go through two loops on the hook. Then it's chain one, skip one stitch and into the next stitch, single crochet. Continue with the stitch pattern to the end of the round. It's chain one, skip one stitch and into the next stitch, single crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch into the next stitch, single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. Skip one, single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. I'm at the end of round nine. So to join it's chain one, skip one, and slip stitch into that chain one from the start of the round. You could always um, use a stitch marker into that chain one from the start so that you have a clear idea of where the start and end is. 
round 10, chain 1, into that same stitch as chain 1, single crochet. Then it's chain 1, skip 1 and single crochet into the next stitch. Continue with chain 1, skip 1, single crochet to the end of the round. I'm at the end of round 10 and I've single crocheted into that last stitch with one stitch to go. Then it's chain one, skip the one stitch and into that single uh, chain one from the start, I'll slip stitch. I've completed the body of the top. I've completed round 11 to round 18 by repeating round 10. I worked a round of double crochets for round 19 where I chained three, double crocheted all stitches and slip stitched to join. Round 20 was a repeat of round 8 where I chained three, back post double crocheted all stitches and slip stitched to join. Round 21 to round 36 or until the required length of the top, I chain 3 and double crocheted all stitches and I slip stitch to join at the end of each round. Round 37. Okay, so I've got a few stitches left undone. Round 37, chain 3, here we'll front post double crochet and back post double crochet into all stitches. We'll on alternate between the two stitches. So it's chain 3 and into that first post of the stitch, we'll front post. Then it's a back post double crochet into the next stitch. A front post double crochet. So we're we'll working from the front for a front post double crochet. A back post double crochet from behind. Continue with front post double crochet and back post double crochets alternating between the two stitches to the end of the round. I'm at the end of round 37 so to to join its slip stitch into the chain three then it's fasten off and cut off the excess yarn. That completes the body. For the sleeve, we'll attach yarn to the underarm of the sleeve of the armhole. Pull through. Round one chain three, one, two, three. Here we'll work double crochets all along until we get to the puff stitch pattern that runs down the center of the sleeve. I've double crocheted to the puff stitch pattern at 
this pattern I'll work a puff stitch into that single crochet from the round before followed by a chain three one two three and another puff stitch into that same stitch Continue with double crochets to the end of the round. I've completed round one by slip stitching to join. Round two, I chain three and double crochet to the puff stitch pattern. Then it's chain four, one, two, three, four, and single crochet into the chain three space from the round before. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Continue with double crochets to the end of the round. I have ended round two by slip stitching into the chain three from the start of the round. I've completed the sleeve. Round three to round 26 was a repeat of round one and round two. Round 27, I chained three and double crocheted all stitches. At the puff stitch pattern, the chain four, single crochet chain four, I worked four double crochets into the chain four on either side and one double crochet into that single crochet. I then slip stitched to join. Round 28, I chain three and back post double crochet all stitches, I slip stitched to join. Round 29 to round 35, for these rounds, for each of these rounds, I chained one, single crochet into the same stitch as chain one then it's chain one skip one single crochet i repeated that pattern sequence to the end of the round chain one skip one single crochet and for each of those rounds i slip stitched to join round 36 i chain three well you can't see it really clearly here but it's right here I chain three and double crochet all stitches. I slip stitched to join. Round 37, chain three, back post double crochet all stitches, slip stitched to join. Round 38 to round 42, I chain three, double crochet all stitches, slip stitched to join for each of those rounds. Round 43, I chain three, and here I alternated between front post double crochet and back post double crochet, slip stitching to join at the end of the round. I then fastened off and cut off the excess yarn and I repeated this, these steps for the other sleeve. To complete the top, I'd like to do a border around the neckline. So to do that border at the center back, attach yarn. Then it's chain three, two, three. And here I'll alternate between front post double crochets and back post double crochets all through, throughout the neckline. So that's a front post and a back post. Continue to the end of the round. I've completed the border around the neckline. I've slip stitched to join, fastened off. All that's left to do is to weave in all the ends. 